Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is 3D Mess Tutorials and I'm in CoppleQ and I'm going to show you how you can use variables so that you can uh, uh, um, have a, a system, a MO and health system. Okay, this is just a basic scene I'm setting up. I'm creating a 2D uh, overlay. Okay, this 2D overlay I'm going to use for my um, image, my uh, transparent uh, image I created in GIMP. Okay. If it's your first time here, please consider liking this video if it's helpful at the end, subscribing to my channel if it's your first time here, okay? So I just added the UI, I'm just gonna tick the box in the attributes and I'm just gonna add an image, okay? I'm gonna go to the directory and there's the image mo.png, right? Okay, now I'm gonna add the image as you can see, there's it on screen, the UI. Okay, this is gonna be my MO image. Everything is white in the background. I'm gonna change it out as we go along. I'm gonna put in a nice, nice uh, skybox. Okay, let me just scale up this um, this UI. Make it a bit smaller. Okay. Just small enough so that we can see it. I'm going to show you how to create a MONL system in Copper Cube. Okay. Let me use my on-screen on on keyboard so you guys can see what I'm doing. Okay. I'm just going to write MO. I'm going to name it MO. Um, say MO underscore icon. Okay. That's good. I'm going to clone it and I'm also going to rename it let me just put it, push it aside ok and let me rename this to health because it's going to be a MO and health system um, from this two systems you can just copy and paste whichever um, um, UI or if you want to put in a loading bar or anything else or like yeah, like thirst you know here's the icon this I created in GIMP myself guys you can create your own icons there's some videos in my YouTube channel you can watch on how to create these icons okay absolutely free so um, now I've added the two icons that is just to the overlays okay just to us stipulate that um, that is the health it's like a plaster you see two plasters over each other and that is bullets okay that that is your MO right if it's your first time here like I said please consider smacking that like button if this video was helpful my name is 3 Mr. Tutorials I create games I set up projects for, for, for you guys if you can't um, if you are unable to create something you can leave a comment in the comment box and I'll create a project for you so that you can also download that project but I'll take you through step by step like as you can see here I'm creating a, 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 a MONL system in Copper Cube 6.5 okay I'm just gonna scale this a little bit smaller because I'm gonna use another 2D overlay for my text, MO text, okay. You want your game to look nice, your UI, okay. So I created all of these um, images in GIMP, GIMP uh, 2.10, okay. It doesn't, it doesn't matter which version you use. If you are creative, you'll be able to create these, you know, and it's quite nice. So let me just rename that to MO underscore icon underscore text I, you have to rename your stuff it makes your hierarchy look nice okay and everything is organized then you don't have to look for everything because when you compile a game you it, it piles up all the stuff piles up it, you import stuff in all of that you use a bunch of stuff components okay so there I'm gonna clone this one also and I'm just gonna move it down 
okay, let me just get the grab tool, I'm gonna move it down and I'm gonna swap it out with the health text, okay. <coughs> I hope you guys are following me, I hope I'm not too fast, but you can always uh, skip to the, to the back and just recap on what I'm doing if you haven't, if you don't know what I'm doing. And this is gonna be a two-part series, guys. Okay, so let me just see how it looks on the on the UI, on the screen, the main screen. Okay, it's it's too it's too big. I'm gonna scale it more down. Okay, I'm showing you guys how to create a MO and health system. Okay, I'm gonna take it step by step for you guys. This is just uh, for beginners. It's like basics. I'm at a more advanced stage now where I can um, use gift images for my for my uh, icons. Yeah, but for you guys, there's a nice video tutorial for you I'm creating on MO and Health. Okay, just stick with me. Don't skip this video because we're gonna work with variables. Variables. Okay, that is also to pick. Um, but I'm gonna scale it down as we go along okay I don't want to make this video too long because it's already very long and it's a two part series okay so I've added all my 2D overlays I'm quite happy with that um, there's my MO I need to rename that one to health okay let's rename him to health so that we don't get confused my name is 3D Mesh Tutorials, I'm in Copper Cube and I'm showing you how to create a MO and health system in Copper Cube for your game. Okay, you can use it in uh, survival games, any type of game. You can make a score system out of it also, like, you know, plus and minus. That is all you're doing with variables. Okay, I'm adding, I'm dropping in some uh, GUIs. I'm gonna drop in two GUIs since we're busy with two components ammos and health that will be the ammo GUI okay a GUI is also a type of image but it's it's um, it's looking directly at the camera if there's a camera in the scene it's pointing at the camera no matter where you go with the camera it's gonna look at the camera if you turn around it's gonna look at the camera okay so yeah that is the GUI I'm gonna use the GUI so that uh, we can pick up the ammo and pick up the health. Okay. I'm gonna use the same uh, ammo icon and the same ammo and the same health icon to use for GUIs. In that way, you guys in the game you will be familiar with uh, your pickups. Okay. Does it because it doesn't make sense? You you you. I make plasters for the health, but. When you pick up a uh, health, then it's a case, or it's like a, a needle or something, you know, or, or pulse medicine, doesn't make sense. And the same for the ammo, you have bullets there showing, but then there's a, a grenade, it doesn't make sense, no guys? That is why I'm gonna leave the GUI and the, the text, uh, the icon at the, at the top, by the ammo and health, I'm gonna leave them the same, they're gonna be the same images okay creating the ammo first there's the first GUI and as you can see it keeps looking at the camera as we move along around we, it moves with the camera I'm too I'm just cloning that also you know makes my workflow much easier if I clone everything and you can just change the image as you can see there quite easy no guys all right so there we have our two GUIs, we have our health and we have our uh, um, MO system. There's the health and MO system. But it's not working yet, it's not the system yet, it's just a bunch of text in, in icons. We need to put um, behaviors and actions to this. Okay, I'm gonna import, we need to import a character. I'm gonna use a third person character in this um, tutorial. Um, so if you are guys want you can just skip you can just skip this part where I import the character if you know how to import the character to copper cube but if not this is a bonus for you guys because I'm gonna show you now how I import my 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 2d care my 3d character okay 
I don't know where I put it, but I'm just going to have a look quickly. Okay, I'll be back in a moment. Okay, I have my character with all these animations, but um, I did put multiple animations in my player character. As you can see, there's FPX. That is the character I imported from Blender. If you haven't watched that video, you need to go head over to my channel and watch that video. Okay, but here I'm going to show you how to import your character. Okay, I'm importing the character to Copper Cube with all that animation, so it's going to take a while. I'm running a very good system, but uh, I think Copper Cube is compiling all the animations. Okay, because it's quite a bunch of animations I added to this character. I'm not going to forward this part, guys. I'm talking because I want you to know this is where the character is importing to Copper Cube. I'm showing you how to create a MONL system. It wasn't necessary for me to import this 3D character. But the, I know there's some of you guys that's going to watch this video over the time being. And you're going to want to see how I imported the character or how to import the character. So it's a bonus, you know. Okay, let's just wait for this character to import with all these animations. As you can see there, it's not responding. But it's not that the system is responding. Copper Cube is just compiling all the animations. There you go. He imported perfectly. The only problem we're going to have here is that the character imported without these um, materials okay and it's quite big we're gonna scale them down a bit but first we're gonna import the material let's head over to the directory where i found this um, animation this 3d character with all these animations and i'm going to add it to copper cube there you go i'm gonna use the diffuse since copper cube copper cube needs a plugin for all that um, textures but i don't need the textures um, i'm just gonna make a basic online game with this okay there you have it the character with all his animations i'm gonna go to the hierarchy attributes let me first scale him down a bit it is a quite nice size i want that size it is good okay let me just put let's go to the hierarchy and put him on a zero axis so that he can be center on that plane okay now we center to the plane we're gonna go to the animations and put him on idle okay now he's not jumping around and stuff doing all these animations okay so there's the character that's how you import a animated character to copper cube this character i created myself in uh, Mi mixamo fuse it's a it's a um, animation 3d animation character creator you can put on your desktop and you can use it to create your own characters okay this is one of them and I have a bunch of them, but anyway, this is not that. There's videos where you can watch how I create characters like this. Um, there's the character. The character won't be able to walk. The character will not move at all. We need to assign a camera to this character. A 3D, ca uh, ca uh, 3D person character. Third person character, sorry. It is what we have to do first. Okay. My name is 3 d Tutorials, and I'm showing you how you can create a MO and health system. And in the meanwhile, I'm also adding a bunch of other nicks and tricks in how to do this and that. Okay, you can just follow along, skip if you don't want to watch this part, where you want to see how I add the variables to each and every one of these um, text uh, documents and, 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 and sprites. Okay. Now I'm going to add the third person camera. You need to link the third person camera to the animated mesh one. Okay, so it can follow that. I don't know why it does this funky thing uh, where the character's origin is way up there. You can see that is the mark of the camera is where the camera is pointing at. At first look when the game starts op up it looks at that box you will see that green line i'm gonna adjust it now i think it's gonna be on a minus something let's say minus 13 it's coming down but it is too high let's say 20 uh, uh, that's not enough let's say 80 minus 80 yes okay so my it's a maybe a minus 70 let's go for minus 70 it's still too low 
65 let's go over 55 yep let's lift the camera a bit and go to the back also it's too close to the character um, we're gonna go down to 65 let's go for the 65 and see where the camera is okay that is good for now right I'm gonna leave it here for now but I want the camera to have a a little bit above the, ca the character's head so I can look ahead okay so um, we're not gonna move I, I'm just looking the position of the camera before I add the behavior to the character camera the animated character needs a behavior we're gonna add it to the, the character not to the camera because this is not the first person camera it's a third person camera so we need add a collide when moved okay that is the behavior we're gonna add to this character and i'm gonna go with the relevant position on in the center the y-axis on a minus one a minus 12 that should be good enough as you can see there minus 12 on the y-axis and it's not clipping through the floor you need to make sure that it's not clipping through the floor otherwise you're gonna stuck some places where your mesh joins okay but if you have a full terrain or so it, it you won't even notice it unless you jump and you will get free but that is not good man just lift it up your character or see if the collide is collide to move is not stuck to the floor okay i'm gonna i'm playing around a little bit with the parameters here on with the collide so um let me see before we can move we also need to assign some keys here to move okay we need to assign some keys to press and we also need to add a behavior another behavior because this is a character and we need to we need to let the engine know this is a character okay the object or person controlled by keyboard all right i'm gonna put it on a 0.04 for the speed the rotation 88 we don't need jump i don't think i have a jump animation okay but if if not i'm just gonna leave the jump on zero we're not gonna use the jump in this tutorial i'm gonna import a jump animation and then okay i'm gonna play with that parameters there i'm gonna go down to the stand animation um, let's leave it at 1.8 just in case we have a jump animation it's idle stand is idle you see we don't have a jump animation the reason why it's empty copper cube automatically knows what is the jump and you know because you name it that's why you need to name your, your animations before you import it to copper cube so copper cube can make your workflow much easier okay because it is an easy game engine to use so yeah my name is 3 dms tutorials if this video was helpful so far please smack that like button subscribe to my channel if it's your first time here i'm showing you how to create a mo and health system if you uh, long to create maybe a, a survival game and all of that awesome stuff okay we're gonna use when a key is pressed to something okay and I'm gonna go with WW is the default key always on a keyboard when playing a game when you wanna move around with the character that will be the forward button so that the character can walk okay we're gonna first select the character that's the animated mesh one and we're gonna put the animation on walk at the bottom yep at the bottom we're gonna put it on loop right we're gonna put another when key is pressed do something but this time we're gonna say when the key is lifted when w key is lifted okay the w key when the key is lifted then the action will be animation set select the animation animated mesh one and put the animation on idle again because you're doing nothing put it on a loop press ok and let's see what happens it should work perfectly okay all right there you go we are walking and the animation is also working nicely i wish cop uh, um, unity and unreal engine was so easy 
just one, two, three, see there's the character, my bro. One, two, three, huh? They come with all this kinematics and kinematic stuff. Don't have time for that. But make the game with me, you know? Alright, there you have it, guys. We're gonna put some more keys in, especially for walking to the back. And um, also for running, crouching, jumping, and all of that. Okay. But for now, this is just a tutorial on how to create the ammo and health system. My name is 3D Mist Tutorials, and I show you how to create a health system and ammo system so you can pick up some ammo because you're obviously gonna shoot in your game. The zombies or whatever is obviously gonna hurt you, hit you, you're gonna give damage, so you need some health. If you're gonna build a survival game, you just use your health system and you can use it for water, food, whatever. You understand? For plus and for minus, and anything can happen. Just use your imagination in Copper Cube. I'm just giving you the basics. If you already know how to create this, you don't have to watch this video, but you can head over to my channel. There's a bunch of videos you haven't watched. Okay, that is a nice support you will give me. And smack all the videos you watch. Okay, thank you guys. That is just for the, uh, just a disclaimer there. Okay. So I want these two GUIs to disappear. Before I'm gonna play around with the variables, I want these two GUIs to disappear whenever I walk through it. Okay, let's have a look. That's a nice height. I think it's too high. I need to lower it more. But the only way I'm gonna know if I... Um, yeah, lower it a bit. Okay, I'm gonna... Now let's play around with the variables. We are working with variables in this tutorial, guys. If you don't know what variables is, it's only telling the system after this event this should happen and when that happens this should trigger and when that triggers this should hide or so and all of that you know etc etc it's not so complicated okay so that is why i'm making it much simpler for you guys there is a bunch of tutorials out there showing you how to use variables um, but i'm not gonna go with the word variable i'm just gonna use the word add just do what I do, follow my steps, and you will see you will have your ammo in your health system without any problems, absolutely free. Okay, and there's your character I imported also. I think I'm gonna make this project available for you guys. Okay, don't worry. You can have it with character and all. Yes, I'm gonna leave a link in the video description so you can download this project. Right, uh, but just please make sure you subscribe to my channel because I'm gonna give away a bunch of projects like these ones, okay.